This video is to introduce factoring quadratic equations using something called the box method. Now, the box method is most effective when the coefficient of your x squared term is not 1, when it's more than 1. This can be a really helpful way to keep track of your process of elimination. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so here we have a quadratic 3x squared minus 19x plus 6. And as you can see, the coefficient of your x squared is more than 1. And that's one of the best uses of this box. So to remind you, what this box does is it gives you a visual version of your FOIL, right? We're looking to fill in what are the two binomials that this quadratic equation factors into. And we know that firsts, the first term times the first term, results in this term right here. So we put that in our first box. That's our firsts. These will be our outside and our inside, but we also know that our lasts are created by multiplying this times this, and that results in that. So our last is going to be a six. We can also see that because this is positive, right? Something times something else is positive, but this is negative. Something plus something else is negative. That we know that both of these second terms are going to be negative. So that a negative times a negative is a positive, but then this term will still wind up being negative. OK. So we go here, 3x squared. How do we create that through multiplication? A 3x times an x. And we know those will be the first things in the parentheses. It doesn't matter where we put them. Now, how to create our 6 through multiplication? Well, we could do a 6 and a 1 or a 2 and a 3. And here we're going to do a little trial and error. So let's say we think, OK, let's try the 2 and the 3. And so let's throw them in there. So a 3x times a negative 2 gets us a negative 6x. And a negative 3 times a negative x gets us a negative 3x. And negative 3x and negative 6x is negative 9x, not 19. So we try again. So this time, let's reverse them. So let's put the 3 up here and the 2 there. And we do our multiplication again. And negative 2x and negative 9x is still not negative 19x. So we do it again. This time, let's try our 6 and our 1. Now, we can be a little strategic. We know we need to come up with 19. So probably putting the 6 here and the 1 here isn't going to do it. We need to multiply the 6 times the 3. So let's just jump straight to that. If we're wrong, we can do it again. 3x times negative 6, negative 18x, negative 1 times x, negative x, and we've done it. Negative x plus negative 18x adds up to our negative 19x. So x minus 6, 3x minus 1. And if you want the proof, let's FOIL that. First, outsides, insides, lasts, consolidate like terms, and we're back where we started. So that's using the box method to factor a quadratic where the coefficient of the x term is greater than 1. So give that a try. Check out these other helpful videos on how to factor quadratics using different methods, and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Then you'll be notified when I put out new videos that can help you keep on mathing.